Today we're in JJB in Norfolk in England and you're going to be absolutely blown away by what's happening right behind me. They're doing a day's work in one hour with lean robots. I'm with Jack, the owner of JJB. So Jack, tell us about this uh, robot. We took a process that used to take three days Three people, and yep. we go it down to one day, one person. It takes a flat laser cut part, we put it in the conveyor, and it bends it into shape, prints the product ID number on there too. Yeah. So when Chris put this together, he built the machine, yeah. bought the PLC controller, installed it, and learned how to program it. That's our mindset, you know. Use your head, not your wallet. Yeah, and anything's possible if you really want to do it. We've adapted the shape of the product to have the least amount of waste materials possible. And the way they cut, the laser only has to travel this edge once. And then the operator simply breaks it apart. So once we remove the skeleton, there's very minimal waste. I'm with Chris, and Chris has designed this unbelievable robot. Tell us about this robot, Chris. This machine helps us to roll the rings, which we produce in here. Okay. We simply input the parts, single button operation. The machine starts rolling. We build the arm at the back, which is coming down to help to support the parts so we don't have to put our hands in there. It's nicely supporting it, as you can see. So this you, is all you designed this as well? Well, this is in-house, yes, designed oh. and, and, and built in here. So in here, we had a situation where we changed in the dies. Um, each yeah. of the die, it weighs from 100 to 200 kilos. It was a massive job, three, four guys struggling to lift it. Um, so in here, we had a robot and it helps us to, to change the dice without the struggle. So I've just noticed an extreme level of detail on their two bin system. So this is the front bin where they're picking their parts, but once they break into the back bin, you can't physically get the parts because they've made this Pokeyoke Kanban system where you actually have to lift up the plate to access the parts, but before you do that, you trigger the Kanban. It's really an unbelievable system. So Jack, I've noticed as we're walking around, there's some really cool machinery here. We're not scared to invest in some technology to make our people's job easier, because we know that when their job becomes easier, it's easier for them to make a better quality product. The automatic pop-fed rivet machine cut the production time in half of this product you see being built. So I've just noticed something incredible right behind me. This machine is actually cutting the cardboard packaging for their products just in time as the customer needs it before they had large inventories. Now the packaging is all cut just in time. We used to buy in hundreds of these polystyrene corners and then we thought there must be a better way because we're wasting lots of card. So in the waste space card, I created this cardboard corner. So all we have to do, fold it. And then we replaced our polystyrene corner protectors for card corner protectors made from waste. One of the things that really has impressed me already is the fact that you're making all of these improvements in-house. It's important we harness the mental capacity our people have, and especially when they're doing menial tasks, repetitive tasks, Yeah. we can then train them people to use their brain to think of an easier way. That's a win for everyone. Their job's easier, yeah. the business benefits, the customer benefits, quality of the product improves all because we stopped and trained our people. It's a wonderful thing. So another thing I really like about JJB is how safety conscious they are. And they've designed a really simple improvement to let everyone know that the forklift is in use. I really like this improvement because whenever the forklift is in use, these visual barriers come down to let everyone in the facility know not to be walking in the way of the forklift. So we've standardized our hole patterns on our welding tables, so when we make jigs, they easily just slot on. And it's locked in place. Once we started lean, we needed to standardize how we stored our tools. And we made like a keyhole loop hanging system. And then over the years of evolution, we now have a standardized tool panel with 40 different attachments. And we're using that internally, we've using it in around 20 different places in the factory but now it's a product. So now we have a very easy way for people to lay out their tools and it's got great visual control. Obviously a big part of Lean is developing visual controls and JJB have a really dialed in process for all the visual management. So they design the label here, they print it here and just look at this laminating station, look at the detail. They've got a slot for all the offcuts, 
The laminator is right here. There's a button to this to turn it on so there's no struggle. All the different sizes of laminating pouches have got their tape, they've got their scissors. This is highly organized and I've never seen anything like it. So I've noticed you've got loads of these robots running around the whole factory. Well, we're reducing the transportation. So if someone's adding value, when they're moving a trolley, it's all waste. Hence why we have the robot army going around. Yeah, robot army. Yeah. <laughs> We just came across a live improvement that Chris is actually working on right now today. So Chris, what is this, what is this doing? Well, this is our welding jig for the rings we produce. Um, we simply insert the part in here, clamp it in. This used to be a very difficult job working on the table with your hands in here. Now it turns out to simply press a button. Back in the day, welding 60 of them in the day, it was massive struggle and the target is 60 pieces per hour to be welded finished. So, so you said 60 per day was really hard, but now you're doing 60 per, per hour? Yes, that's correct. We used to do 60 a day, <laughs> manually rolling them, manually, manually welding them, manually cleaning it. Right now we, we made so many improvements, improved the whole process, pressing play button, and machines are helping us to do it, taking the hardest part of work. Absolutely unbelievable. One day's work in one hour. I'd like to thank Jack and the entire team from JJB for this amazing tour today. We have loads of more tours similar to this coming up, so stay tuned.